you are at a restaurant and the waiter comes and pours a little bit of wine in your glass that's not for you to say whether you like it or not stop freaking embarrassing me 24 things I learned at the age of 24. I was supposed to do this video last year around my birthday, but life clearly got in the way, but that's okay. Number one, how people treat you has nothing to do with you. If someone is a bully or they're mean to you or they do bad things to you, that has nothing to do with you. It's a reflection of who they are. They, in their head, think it's okay to treat someone like that when it's obviously not, but it literally has nothing to do with you, whether it's good or bad. Literally, this is what I tell myself. Like, if someone is, like, rude to me, obviously, I don't expect people to be always kind. Sometimes you're just having a a bad day and you just don't like feel like in the mood to be all happy and jolly which doesn't justify being rude but then i get it when someone sends off on a day if someone is rude i'm just like that's not a me problem that's not my fault it doesn't say anything about me it doesn't say that i deserve that it's more a reflection of who they are than a reflection of what i am number two if they wanted to they would i'm sorry bestie but i have to pull you out of your delusions literally if they wanted to they would it's not a matter of oh man they too busy or maybe life is happening or this or that if they wanted to they would if they wanted to it would have been done by now but you just need to come to the realization that they don't want to they're not doing it because they don't want to do it people prioritize what's important to them they prioritize what they want and if it was that important and if they really wanted to do it it would have happened and this of course applies like in the contents of like friends relationships parents whatever people don't hesitate on things they want to do number three start investing as soon as you out of the uterus if you're out of the uterus and you can inhale oxygen start investing okay learning how to walk and talk and shit can wait okay i'm playing but start investing as soon as you can because with investing it's more about building the habits of investing it's not about the amount of money you're investing so a lot of people especially if you're younger and you're in like high school or university you're like it doesn't make sense for me to start investing because what am i investing like i'm investing like 200 rands a month and that's not a lot of money but it's not about the amount it's more about the habits so whether you invest investing like 10 rands per month or if it's a hundred rand if you can build the habit you are going to be able to do the same even when you're earning millions so get into the habit of it as soon as you can and the earlier you start the more that money can grow number four you can create whatever reality you want to create and i'm not going to get into the hoo-ha witchcrafty manifesting shit but i think sometimes as humans we forget that you can do whatever you just need to get up and do it and you don't have to like sit there and wait for other people to help you or for the universe to help you you can just get up and do it if you want to move to another country you can literally come up with the plan and move to another country you are capable of that just like you are capable of being like i want to bake a cake and you can get up and go bake a cake it's so simple but yet for bigger things we think something has to happen we think that someone must come and drag us out of this hole and help us out of this situation when you can just get up and do that number five always have some sort of emergency fund number six this one makes me live it okay because i see the amount of money i wasted doing this thing and i totally regret it and i don't want that to happen to you but stop buying cheap jewelry i'm sorry i know it's like 100 rand stay 100 rand stay but that 100 rand is not worth it for something that you can only wear once then it tarnishes and then it goes green and i wish someone had told me this sooner stop buying cheap shit rather save that money for something that has a bit more value for something with the warranty okay something that's gonna last longer something that you're gonna be able to give your grandkids believe me it's worth it, it doesn't have to be like expensive it doesn't have to be like 24 carat type of literally you can find really good quality jewelry from like 400 500 rand and also having like green ears is just mad cringe number seven use sunscreen every day even on your body every freaking day okay i don't care if it's cloudy outside i don't care if you're on a freaking plane that's even worse that's when you should be like really putting it on hey because you're closer to the sun everywhere all over your body okay? i don't do that as much as i like to but i try to we gotta hold each other accountable for these things number eight you can't blame everyone forever if something doesn't go your way you can't always be like oh it's this person it's because of this and also if something happens let's say in your childhood let's say you weren't born in a rich family i wasn't born in a rich family am i mad about it yeah 
but i can't blame my parents forever for me not being rich right at some point it is now your responsibility at some point you are not rich because of you not your parents I know that sounds like a very cheesy example but whatever trauma you have you can't always blame other people it's on you to heal yourself and move from that you can't always be like oh i have insecurities because when i was younger this happened to me hence i'm gonna be an insecure person forever you have to put in the work you have to put in the effort to make yourself grow number nine after number 10 i'm gonna take a break because wow i've been talking number nine is also a sad one but people come and go the friends you have now may not be the friends you're gonna have forever which is a good and a bad thing like some people are not meant to stay in your life sometimes the only way that you're gonna grow is to have those people out of your life and sometimes as you grow you're gonna grow separately from the people you know now and that's okay sometimes you're just like damn man freaking good riddance because some people just be pulling you back for no freaking reason there's some people in my life where i'm just like i am so glad that person is like out of my life and there's some people where i feel sad but also i can appreciate the memories that i had with them but also still be like appreciative of where i am now some people are gonna go but no better people are coming that narcissistic boyfriend that you're crying over right now is gonna go and someone better is gonna come okay okay number 10 i don't know how to put this like the right way it's all about perception how you perceive yourself has a huge impact on how you process information from the world i'm not sure if you've heard about the scar experiment but basically these group of people were told you're gonna go out as your normal self and you're gonna like interact with people come back tell us how you feel and then after that we're gonna put like a scar on your face using professional makeup and then you're gonna go out again and tell us your experience and then the third time around we're gonna remove the scar and then you're gonna go back so what happened was that the first time they went to talk to people they felt like the people were very kind to them everyone was just like willing to get to know them and then after they got the scar when they went back to the crowd they felt like people were very negative and they weren't as nicer as in the first round in the third round they were told that we're gonna remove the scar and then you're gonna go back to the crowd and interact with everyone then what actually happened is that they didn't remove the scar they just told them that but then the feedback is like critical they went out they don't know that they have a scar on their face they come back the feedback is like everyone was just like so kind so receptive so welcoming good vibes whatever yet they still had a scar on their face how you experience the world is basically based on what you think about yourself if you walk out and you think oh people are gonna look at me awkward because my socks are not matching whenever you see someone look at you or look in your direction you're gonna feel like they're looking at your socks or something like that and that's just gonna make you awkward because that is what you think whereas that is not true that person is probably just like zoned out from the hours they've tucked in number 11 if you're at a restaurant and the waiter comes and pours a little bit of wine in your glass that's not for you to say whether you like it or not stop freaking embarrassing me you can't be like mm, it's a good bottle I literally learned this two days ago on tiktok basically it's for you to check if the bottle is corked which means is it like moldy or does it smell like mildew because the cork wasn't like closed properly that's what you're supposed to do okay it's not for you to decide whether you like the bottle or not stop freaking embarrassing me i'm playing number 10 don't buy things on sale just because it's on sale doesn't make it a good reason to buy it unless you're already planning on buying the thing we are fighting consumerism people we are fighting capitalism if you see something ask yourself if this wasn't on sale would i still buy it and if your answer is no leave it you don't need that you will save yourself billions okay not billions millions okay not even that a couple of thousands but also you know what the worst feeling is like getting home and being like i should have bought that thing and then you go back next day and it's not there and it's gone and you're never gonna get it again that is the worst feeling ever okay number 13 you need to learn how to reposition people as life goes on you're gonna find that sometimes you value people in your life and they may not value you as much as you value them and in that scenario you need to reposition people you need to be like oh this friend didn't make an effort to come to my birthday party as much as i put in so much effort and money into their birthday trip clearly this shows me that this person doesn't value me as much as i value them and what i need to do is reposition sometimes you don't need to cut everyone off you need to tell yourself i need to put in this effort i need to put in this time that person is no longer a close friend but like a good friend a monthly subscription kind of friend and you reposition you stop putting in effort some people want to realize that some people want to give you bare minimum and then you give them a thousand and once you stop giving them a thousand they're gonna be like why are you acting weird man 
why are you acting funny what is happening to you why don't you like me anymore mind you they're still giving you like one percent i don't know what number i'm on so i'm just gonna carry on man next one is everyone is just pretending like no one knows shit okay you may look at someone in like oh my god they have their life all together now nah, you're all just pretending and also there are a lot of people that are idiots okay even big people like politicians and shit they're just freaking idiots and they don't know shit and they're all just pretending to know stuff technical stuff yes don't pretend to know that if you are not a doctor don't pretend to be a doctor but also it's okay to pay people who know more than you okay mind the business that pays you if it doesn't pay you don't mind it i am nosy as hell like i am nosy i like the tea honey like tell me what their tea is and i'll be there just listening taking notes and just soaking it in i like that okay but not every day it's not every day where i'm sitting and i'm just like in other people's businesses i want to hear it and then be like oh child can't believe that happened and then two hours later i've forgotten about it even two hours is a long time like 20 minutes later i'm done that's it that's enough tea for the day i move on to the business that pays me there's nothing wrong with gossip we all love a little bit of gossip but don't let it consume your life don't be the person who's always in other people's businesses hr is not here to protect you hr is here to protect the company and that is all i will say about that if you don't decide how you want your life to be someone else is going to decide that for you your parents are going to decide that for you society is going to decide that for you by not making a decision you are choosing a certain path if i wake up and i don't decide what i'm doing today society my reality is going to decide someone else is going to decide what i'm doing today maybe a friend is going to call me and be like do you want to do this today and i'm going to say yes because i haven't planned what i want to do or maybe i'm just going to sit on tiktok for like freaking five hours because i haven't made the intention to actually do something and hence that's what society wants me to do if you don't decide and put in the intention someone else is going to decide if you don't pick a career path your parents are going to decide your society is going to decide for you based on your marks or what you can do so you need to be able to make the big decisions in your life but this one this one is very critical i also learned this on tiktok you can send your flight number to someone like as a message and on your iphone you can like click on it and it tells you like the flight details i know i'm also baffled basically it will tell you like if the flight is on time if the flight is delayed what time was departure what time they landing it is literally so useful if you ever like alone or like traveling alone don't tell random people that if you like at an airport alone or you on a plane alone don't tell people i'm traveling alone be like no i'm meeting my friend especially if you're a woman like the world is a very dangerous place weird things are happening right now and to stay safe just try avoiding telling people too much especially if you can tell they're trying to fish the information out of you if you don't feel comfortable with lying just don't talk to people like i say hi put on my earphones and mind my own business mind the business that pays me and that's enough number 20 i think if it's not a heck yes it's a no if someone's like do you want to volunteer and you don't feel like saying heck yeah just say no because you don't want to do that thing you'll save yourself a lot of time again by not deciding people would decide for you so i've signed up for so many things where i was just like i don't actually want to do that but then i say yes because of the people pleaser in me so whenever i'm not like oh my god yes i want to do that i just say no it's probably going to be a waste of my time anyways number 21 is no one is thinking about you no one's looking at you like oh she really chose to wear that dress with those shoes no one's thinking that no one is thinking about you everyone's just thinking about themselves we live in a very selfish world everyone is just selfish it's just the way it is so if you want to post something that you feel like is cringe on the internet just do it because no one cares number 22 stop trying to be someone else i don't understand people who do this i think sometimes it happens because you're just like i want to be as successful as that person and then you start mimicking them but we don't need that person we don't need another i don't know elon musk because we already have one we need another you and no one is you no one can do you better than you can do you so stop trying to be someone else like don't copy people just be yourself because you are beautiful and no, ask and you shall receive sometimes i don't want to ask for things i don't want to bother people if you don't ask people are not going to know what you're struggling with but also you need to ask the right people ask the people that can give you what you want don't just be asking random people you miss 100 percent of the shots you don't take if you don't ask rather ask and get a no than not ask at all which brings me to my final point don't take a no from someone that can't tell you yes if let's say you have a business idea and you go tell your regular 
their old neighbor and they're like that's never gonna work out just because they said no and just because they don't believe in it doesn't mean it's not gonna work out and also why would you take a no from them why would you accept them telling you it's not gonna work out they've never started a business in their whole life they never tried to achieve something great why would you take a no from someone like that if that person is not a venture capitalist that person is not an investor you don't have to take their no's just like you wouldn't ask for financial advice from a broke person they could literally come to you and be like that would never work but how do they know they're not in the position to tell you yes stop taking advice from people who you don't want to be if you want to be a business owner take advice from people who are in the position you want to be at don't take advice from any old tom dick and harry take advice from only the people who are at where you want to be from the people who've gained the experience from the people who've walked the journey before you not everyone i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe and i hope you guys had a good week